Hi, my name is Lizzie, and whoa, I'm gonna try to do Veda in August. Here it is, the first video. Let's hope I can keep it going because I haven't made a video in a while. I took a little break. I focused on some work stuff. I had some conventions and just some like time to not worry about making a video because if I don't want to make a video, I'm not going to because what's the fun in that? So I'm like really excited to just like jump right back in and make a video every day for you guys this month and I, I'm, I'm like actually really excited. So it's gonna be good. It's good. I'm excited to make videos again. Here we go. Today I'm gonna tell you about some of my favorites from the month of July. Uh, before we start anything, yes, I'm wearing green lipstick. Favorite number one, this green lipstick. Like, okay. I'm the type of person who doesn't like lipstick that's like too purple or like uh, like a, a unique color because I never felt like I could pull it off. But for our Disney Bounds at D23, we did Gamora and Star Lord, and I was like, okay, well I gotta incorporate green because she is green, and I don't want to paint myself green since we're just doing a Disney Bound. What if I got green lipstick? And then I got it and I put it on, and I was like, all right, okay, I think I like this. So I got this Too Faced melted matte liquefied long wear lipstick. I love that it's matte because it doesn't like rub off on everything. I think I'm only gonna get matte lipsticks from now on. So going off of the lipstick into the Disney Bounds that we did at D23, those were my other favorite things. I loved our Disney Bounds. I'm really proud of them. I just felt awesome. I felt like I looked good, like I represented the character well. I got to wear this green lipstick. Keep an eye out for my Disney Bound video for the Gamora outfit specifically because I go into all the details of where I got everything. And then we did Max and Roxanne from the Goofy Movie. Goofy Movie is like a really popular thing at D23 apparently because I saw a lot of like cosplays of Max and Roxanne and Stacy and the Cheesa guy leading Tower of Cheesa, you know. Of course there will also be a video detailing that outfit, so keep an eye out for that this month. This whole favorites video is just gonna be me plugging my future videos. <laughs> and just like D23 Expo in general is a favorite. It was the first one we've ever been to. There were a lot of lines, but once you got to the things that you were waiting for for a couple of hours, it was like so worth it. My videos throughout this week are going to be all D23 based. You'll see my vlogs from the day, my Disney bound videos, our haul video from all the stuff that we got. But I don't know if I mentioned how awesome it was to meet all of you guys who were there. Thank you so much for coming up and saying hi and giving us your hugs and love. It was a very overwhelming experience. This is by far the most we've ever gotten recognized from like our YouTube videos because of course at the Disney convention. It's all of our people. I just, we really appreciate you and thank you so much for watching and wow that was overwhelming and very humbling and we met this girl and she like literally made me tear up because she was so excited to meet us and it was just like, oof. It was, it was awesome. Just a quick overview of some of the stuff that's in my haul video are these squirrel hats from Oh My Disney. They were free and this little Beauty and the Beast makeup bag, pencil bag thing, and my very first Alex and Annie bracelet. It's a Space Mountain bracelet. There are only 1,977 of them because Space Mountain came about in 1977. All right, we're done with D23 talk. Let's move on. Another favorite from July is my freaking Apple Watch. I have wanted an Apple Watch ever since they came out and it is everything that I dreamed it would be. I feel like a secret like detective and I can like type things into my watch and like it's just it's cool. It's just cool. It's waterproof so on the 4th of July when we were all like playing in the pool having a great time my phone was hooked up to the Bluetooth speaker and I could change the music from the pool. It's just it's great. I have clients who are like on the clock 24 7 they're always calling and texting me and emailing me and sometimes I'm not right next to my phone but with my watch I can always see when things pop up so I can go to my computer I can go to my phone and take care of business. I really love it. It keeps track of my physical activity, which is interesting if you're into that kind of thing, which I'm not really, but it's cool to see sometimes. <laughs> I have just always wanted a watch that I could talk into. Like ever since I was a child, ever since I was a child, I tried to be the best. So what happened? Speaking of which, we saw Book of Mormon this month and it was amazing. First of all, we've never been to the Pantages in LA, which is a big theater. It was beautiful, and the performance was just so good. We've never seen Book of Mormon on a stage before. We've only listened to the soundtrack, and there are so many like visual jokes that you don't get from the soundtrack that were just, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It was just so good, A plus. I love Book of Mormon. I haven't stopped listening to the soundtrack. 
since we saw it in the beginning of the month. <laughs> After a year of living in our apartment, James and I have finally started to decorate the bedroom because we focused all of our attention on the living room with our huge print wall and all of our nerdy little things out there. We finally started to get stuff for the bedroom. So we got these two beautiful nightstands and lamps. Favorites, favorites, favorites. These lamps have such great lighting. They're great selfie light, which is all you can ask for in a lamp, really. It looks so grown up, like our headboard matches our nightstands. We have matching nightstands now. Um, we are adults. This is adulting. So James and I have a P.O. box, if you didn't know. You can send us a little gift, or like a craft, or a note, or a letter, whatever you want to send. If you don't want to send anything, don't do it. But it can be found in the description below. Today, we got these little mini-me versions of ourselves from our Moana Dapper Day Disney Bound group and oh they're so cute like the detail of it his has glitter on the vest mine even has my little yode watch and like the flower crown and it's just oh they're so cute thank you so much Liz the eye of we're obsessed we're obsessed also her daughter drew this Mickey on the box and she's only 10 years old I could not draw this this is great now I mentioned using my Apple watch on the 4th of July which brings me to the 4th of July itself it was so fun I hung out with all my friends we swam in a pool we ate hot dogs it was like very classic American 4th of July and it was just so much fun we made a video on my friend TJ's channel so you can go check it out we're singing firework by Katy Perry and then <laughs> so this one you might not understand if you don't know who Jack's Films is if you don't know who Jack's Films is please go watch him he is an OG youtuber he's been on this platform for like 11 years he is hilarious and he never like his content is never boring or like old it doesn't feel old he's very he changes he's always funny he's keeping up with the times man and he has an obsession with the Emoji Movie. He did a live stream for an hour, counting down to the Emoji Movie, and every minute he would dab, and he was spinning 15 fidget spinners all at the same time. Like, I just, you have to watch it to understand it, and even after you watch it, you don't quite understand what you've seen, but you know that it's modern art. So Jack made this merch that has the Emoji Movie release date on it with emojis, and I got it. I got it, it's July 28th. Emoji movie! <laughs> Speaking of fidget spinners, another favorite of mine are these Baymax fidget spinners, available at Orchner.com. That's right, James made fidget spinners for Baymax. Um, are these done yet? I don't know. Are they over? I'm still into them. They're still fun. Link in the description below. <laughs> so those are all my favorite things from July. It was a great month. Upon reflection, like, 10 out of 10, A plus, great month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with vlog footage from D23. Yay, okay, bye.